Good morning class. This is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado Classroom. Our lesson for today is about defining and describing a proportion. Okay, let us define what is proportion. A proportion is an equation that the two ratios are equal. So we have A over B equals to C over D. Example, the ratio of dogs and cats was 3 over 2. So the ratio of dogs and cats now is 6 over 4 is equals to 3 over 2. So let us see. They are proportion. So we have... Uh, 2 times uh, 6 is 12. And 3 times 4 is also 12. So there are proportion when you multiply them. A proportion can be written in two ways. One, fraction form. So we have 3 over 2 is equals to 6 over 4. So let us use the cross multiplication. We have... 3 times 4 is equals to 12 and 6 times 2 is equals to 12. So 3 times 4 is equals to 6 times 2 are proportion because their answer are the same. Well. Another example is 6 over 3 is equals to 8 over 4. So we, we use the cross multiplication technique. Let us multiply 6 times 4 is 28 and 8 times 3 is 28. So these are proportion. Another example is 4 over 5 equal to 2 over 5. So, let us multiply. 4 times 5 equals to 20. And 2 times 5 equals to 10. So, what can you see? What, what do you see? They are not the same or they are not proportion. Okay. Another form is the colon form. So, in proportion, you have to remember that the product of the means is equal to the product of extremes. What is that? So, we have A, D is equal to B, C. So, D and B are the means. A and C are the extremes. So, to give you a clear example, we have 3 to 2 to 3 is equals to 4 to 6. So, 3 and 4 are the means. So, when you multiply them, 3 times 4 is 12. Then, 2 and 6 are the extremes. So, when we multiply them, 2 times 6 is 12. So, it says here, in proportion, the product of the means and the product of the extremes are always equal or proportion. Okay? Okay, class. I want you to try this. Write P if the pair of ratios form a proportion and write N P if not. I will give you time to think and solve the problem. Your time starts now. Okay, let us see your answer. So, in number 1, we have 6 to 3 is equals to 2 to 1. So, let us see. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. And 
six times one is six. The answer is proportion. Correct. Now, let us go. In number two, we have three times five is fifteen and one times twenty is twenty. So the answer is not proportion. Correct. In number three, we have one times eight is eight and two times four is eight. So there are proportion. In number four, uh, we have six times five is thirty and eight times twenty one is one hundred sixty eight. So they are not proportion. In number 5, we have 1 times 28 is 28. 7 times 4 is 28. There are proportion. Very good. Okay. In number 6, we have uh, 16 times 3. The answer is 48. And six, 8 times 6 is also 48. So there are proportion. So we have number 7, we have uh, 25 times 4, that is 100, then this is 100, then 5 times 20 is also 100, so it is proportion. How about number 8, 5 times 4 is 20 and 10 times 2 is 20, the answer is proportion. In number 9, we have 7 times 2 is 14, and 4 times 1 is 4, so they are not proportion. And number 10, we have 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 times 10 is 10, so the answer is proportion. Very good! Your answer are all correct okay class I want you to keep in mind a proportion is an equation that the two ratios are equal and a proportion can be written in two ways one in colon form and fraction form we also have the means and the extremes in proportion the product of the means is equals to the product of extremes okay class i hope you learned something today this is mamado see you on our next lesson thank you bye